What's good, crime family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video brings a little light to your day. After this video, be sure to check out my new Christmas song featuring Crip and Screwface John. The link will be in the pinned comment. Make sure you add that to your Spotify Christmas playlist, man. I surely appreciate that. Today, we finished check out this video from the homie Crip, and he did everything wrong with Nick Cannon's in, in, Invitation Council Eminem disc. I'm ready to see this, man, because uh, these be really dope, man. I love watching these, so shout out to Crip for uh, making these. Hey, let's get straight to it. I ain't gonna hold you up. My invitation's canceled. A third diss track response, despite there not being a diss track to respond to. I feel like Nick is just trying <laughs> to find a sneaky way to get Eminem to sing one of Mariah Carey's songs without him actually wanting to. Why so oh, my God. One minute and 54 seconds of Nick Cannon playing clips of Eminem dissing him and Mariah in various songs, accompanied by Dr. Dre's voice saying, here's what they think about you, a whopping 27 times! Facts, bro. Like, I listened to that and I was just like, bro, why is that intro so long? Remember what Ice Cube said? Oh, yeah. It ain't over, motherfucker. Nick copies the intro to Ice Cube's No Vaseline, hoping that if he uses the same formula, his diss will have the same impact. But he's wrong. Facts. <laughs> Very wrong. <laughs> Nick changes the pitch of Eminem's voice to avoid copyright issues, yet he copyright claimed my video on his song when I did the exact same thing to avoid copyright issues. So five cents, fuck you. Nick has officially run out of ideas to diss Eminem on, so he pulls the race card and tries way too hard at it. Black power Facts. fist in the background? Check. Sporting a sweatshirt of a historically all-black college? Check. Theoretical book about how white people are naturally supremacists and subconsciously no. hate black people due to their genetically inferior DNA? Check. I understand race I'm is an done. easy approach to take in a diss battle when it's two different races, but Eminem of all people, has he seen his entourage? Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, Royce to 5'9", Crooked Eye, Jay-Z, Proof, all of D12. I'm pretty sure Eminem is more respected in the black community than Nick Cannon ever will. Nick then smirkingly flashes this page from the ISIS papers. The book itself is a very pro-black movement that equates white skin as an albino deformity of black skin, but on this page specifically, it shows symbols of male genitalia and a gun, and in this book, the author talks about how white people subconsciously use guns as symbols to make up for their smaller penises in comparison to black penis man oh my god the fact that how much uh information crip like dig it to when he does these he like really goes in and and, and does his research it's, just, it's cool <laughs> idea and all and almost a really good diss but this is a theoretical opinionated book that has several holes in its plot it says some pretty outlandish things about white people and their subconscious and how people of color can't be racist and changes the term of racism completely from the scientific definition it's a very one-sided argument book that fits in nick's narrative perfectly it would be like eminem responding holding a book that talks about how black people are subconsciously doing something in in reference to white people because that's the author's specific belief system. It's a very interesting read though, but it shows how Nick is trying way too hard to make this a race issue. Fuck, that was way too nerdy for this video. <laughs> Oh You've man. Been disrespecting our queens for years. Gigolo is literally about fucking as many women as possible where you repeatedly call them hoes multiple times throughout the song. Matter of fact, don't you tell them how you really feel, bro? Nick Cannon plays a clip from Eminem's 1988 song Foolish Pride and attempts to paint an Eminem is racist narrative despite Ray Benzano doing this exact same thing in 2003. Eminem claimed he had made the tape out of anger, stupidity, and frustration after breaking up with an African-American girlfriend. Although the scandalous nature of Eminem's lyrics have given Benzino and the source a newfound support for their claims, perhaps the biggest revelation of the press conference was how bad Eminem was just 10 years ago and how much he's improved since. And we all saw how that ended for Ray Benzino. Yeah, we definitely heard that one. I love how Nick thinks he just dropped a bombshell on the whole world when this song has literally been available to the public for over 16 years. If anything, I'm not gonna lie, that that was definitely my first time ever hearing uh, Eminem uh, say those words. Thing as shitty as it is, he made the song more catchy because the original song sucks, but he made this something you could bounce to. What are you doing, man? Eminem was 15 at the time of recording this song and had just been dumped by his African American girlfriend. Granted, what Eminem said is horrific. Here's a clip of Crooked Eye talking about the situation if he was in the same shoes. I mean, when I heard what M said, I was like, you know what? He's just pissed. If I was fucking a white bitch at the time and she pissed me off, I'd be like, you fucking white bitch. That's just what I'm gonna do. He was like, yo, this black bitch, whoop, whoop, whoop. It's like, yo, 
He was pissed. He was in a fucking relationship with somebody. And, was, and we say things when we're pissed off. We might not agree with ourselves the next day, but guess what? We say things when we're pissed off. And us as musicians, we go into the booth yeah. and we spew what's on our minds. That's facts. I mean, I, I, I definitely agree with him. We do. Yeah. We're, we're all human. We say dumb ish, but I'm not going to say I would go that far, but I, I do get what he's saying. And um. I think the public don't give us an opportunity to change our minds. Also, also, can we talk about how fucking hypocritical it is that Nick Cannon is bringing up something that happened over 30 years ago and he's using it as a diss. But when it came to Kevin Hart tweeting out some really fucked up shit like 10 years ago, he jumped straight to his defense on Twitter and argued with everyone. Why can't Nick Cannon's rap voice sound like his ad-libs right here? They're clear, they have bass to them, but when he starts to rap, it sounds like he's whispering again. What the fuck? Hey, more race baiting and Nick Cannon using somebody else's insults to insult Eminem. Get used to that. In all seriousness, Nick clearly knew this comment would get under Eminem's skin only because of the Lord Jamar interviews. Also, Nick claims Eminem is merely a guest in the house of hip hop, whilst Nick himself isn't even a neighbor on the same block. Also, also, Nick Cannon goes back to his normal ways of <laughs> rhyming a fucking thing. Had to put my motherfucking turban on. Y'all saw your motherfucking turban on. What happened in the last 10 years or so that made Nick Cannon think this was the way to rap? Like, the whisper rap was the way to go? Because... I, I listen, I'm not even going to hold you right there, man. Listen, Nick, I don't, Nick Cannon is just, I don't think he's, he, rap isn't his thing. You know, he, he's dope in other areas, you know, with business-wise. And, like, I, I think he's really dope with all this stuff, being a comedian and, you know, being an actor. But music, j just not it, bro. Because if you look back and listen to, like, Gigolo and Dime Peace and some of his earlier songs, he raps normally. Protesting with AK's guns. Our queens don't need your racist on. For the life of me, I could not figure out what he was saying until I looked up the lyrics and realized he rhymed guns with racism. But he said racist some to make it rhyme. And it's just... Man, I wish Nick Cannon would stop fucking trying to rap. Hey, more race baiting. Get used to that. Also, what does that even mean? How was one person an entire group of this generation, even though that group still exists in this generation? That's like me saying Nick Cannon's the bad rapper of this generation. Like, there's plenty of bad rappers out there, despite how much we all hate him. Also, Nick ignores the multiple collaborations and collaborative albums with people of the African-American descent, but no KKK. Cause ain't no age for white rage. I would give anybody watching this right now $100 if they can lip read and see what the fuck Nick Cannon was saying during this scene. Cause ain't no age for white rage. Yeah, God forbid Nick Cannon said some fucked up shit when he was younger. I once thought Nick Cannon was one of the greatest actors of all time because of Drumline, and then I got him. Yo, I just realized he had a sins counter at the top of the video. <laughs> that is hilarious. I realized that I was fucking stupid. He's a rap star. Run, nigga, run. Stand on my ground. Fruit of Islam. According to the Gospel Coalition for the Nation of Islam, a member of the Fruit of Islam is supposed to be respectful to all, regardless of color. paper, you racist. I see why you hate. Nick Cannon has literally brainwashed himself with this theoretical opinionated book. Nick tells Eminem to read this book to see that he's racist, but this book's main point is that white people are subconsciously racist due to white supremacy. Therefore, he's always gonna be racist. Despite his actual racist comments, he's still gonna be racist no matter what. Goddamn right, yeah, I'm on one. Nick has spent a decent amount of bars referencing his Islamic faith, but then proceeds to casually drop God which is an impermissible phrase in the Islamic faith and one of the worst things you could physically say in the religion. Christopher Columbus, hip hop wish you discovered. Nick does his best Yoda impression and says a sentence completely ass backwards. Hip hop wish you discovered. Just for Moses, Coretta, Asada, Bro. What is going on here? Like, what is the point of this? Nick has become so enthralled with this race issue that he has forgotten why he's dissing Eminem in the first place. It's because he said he had no balls, in case you forgot. Well, Jamal told your ass you was a guest in our house. I'm trying to find out who the fuck let this pest in our house. Lord Jamar also said that women in rap aren't real rap, which is super disrespectful to the queens of hip hop, and it's literally half of the reason you're dissing Eminem for, so where's that Lord Jamar diss track at, man? Also, how many oh, wow. fucking interviews are there of you out there? that, I did not know. Out there saying that Eminem is in your top five, yet you're calling him a pest right here? Make up your mind, man. I know you and Eminem have an interesting history, so <laughs> I'm assuming you didn't listen to it. I didn't. I haven't yeah. heard it. Right. <laughs> but okay, I'm, I'm, I yeah. still, Eminem's in my top five. My number one. Pop, hands down. Okay. My number two, Eminem. Now, people may not remember this. <laughs> wow. I recall you having a battle of sorts <laughs> with the likes of one of the greatest wordsmiths slash rappers Facts. known to man in Eminem. Yep. You heard him. 
This is how you feel about us. We just gonna keep letting that ride. Well, everybody else heard it 16 years ago, and you've been letting it ride since, so I don't see why he wouldn't let it go on a little bit more. Also, need I remind you, it was 30 years ago! Also, in the song, Eminem said black girls are bitches and black girls are dumb, and then Nick says you heard what he says about us. So, is Nick admitting to being a girl right now? Leave the ice paper, you racist. I see why you hate us. Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. This is the second pre-chorus and the third chorus, and Nick says more words in the pre-chorus than he does in his actual verses and Eminem says more words than Nick Cannon all together. Oh yeah, the hopping bob and all the mother house Negroes that keep defending this motherfucker. Holla at me. I got some books you should read. Nick says anybody supporting Eminem because he's white is now considered an Uncle Tom. And uh, I know a lot of people who are not going to be happy about this one. Oh and Marshall, <laughs> I tried to give you an invitation. My invitation's canceled. In Eminem's defense, you didn't give him an actual date to come on the show, and you can't RSVP to something that doesn't have an actual date. Also, this reminds me of this clip from South Park. Where are you guys? I'm going home. Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my pager, oh, and my home phone at the bottom. Thank you guys so much for stopping by this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Guys, I really want this to be the last video on the Nick Cannon situation, okay? I'm getting very tired of it. Nick claims every single video on the situation, regardless if I barely use any audio, if I change the audio, anything. And I'm sure this video won't be any different. But the first two, like, they were not good diss tracks and everything, but they were still fun and lighthearted. This one just felt like pure hatred and evil, and, like, I just didn't like the vibe this one gave off. Nick casually threw around the word racism, and, like, when people do that, man, it just you forget what racism actually is i don't know the whole thing just felt weird and i hope that the whole situation is done with but uh yeah that's the end of this video guys and thank you for stopping by and until next time it has been your boy crypt love you guys and i'll see you in the next like i said man crypt definitely does a lot of research to make these videos man so salute to that guy for <laughs> doing this and bringing all this information to the forefront because uh like i said i didn't know about the whole situation and i i didn't really understand what was going on with that and like i didn't even know it was 30 years ago I, I didn't know you know what caused that and you know he put a lot of that information in his video i think that's really dope hey man y'all go check out the homie crip man really dope artist really dope uh youtuber also he does a lot of dope content um i appreciate y'all for watching it should be a video on my face go ahead and check out that song with me and crip man that's my new christmas song I just got to click the video on my face right now and take it right to the song. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the song, make sure you smash the subscribe to my music channel. I surely appreciate that. We all salute, Crown family. Yeah.